big news that Josh Taylor, 12 and 0, will take on Victor Postol. 29 wins, one loss, no draws. Um, Postol, very, very, very dangerous fighter. You know, in Terence Crawford's absence, this guy must be considered certainly one of the top three at 140, if not even higher than that. You know, Victor Postol, when he fought Terence Crawford back in 2016, that was sold as number one and number two in the division. There were a lot of people out there predicting that Victor Postol could actually go out and beat Terence Crawford. He's a very, very, very good opponent. Now, in hindsight, you know, Crawford actually beat Postol with quite a little bit in hand. Uh, and you look back at Postol's resume, yes, he got that big knockout win over Lucas Matisse. He got the stoppage win over Selkirk Aiden. He got the win over Frank Lundy, uh, Henry Lundy, the Marcus Corley. Even Mendy, you know, this is a, a very, very, very solid opponent. You know, he's 34 years old, uh, but he's still um, operating at a very high level. He's had a comeback fight subsequent to that loss to Terence Crawford, and he handled an opponent who was 14-0. Um, he's, he's a good fighter, Postal. Very, very good fundamentals. Very experienced. Experienced at the highest level of the game. Very tall guy. I think he's nearly six foot, which is a big unit at light welterweight. Um, a real good jab, very, very good fundamentals. Um, and you know, although he doesn't have a very high knockout ratio, he has found stoppages in some of the bigger fights in his career. Um, really is a dangerous <laughs> opponent. And for me, being honest, I was actually very surprised to see the announcement. It's very ambitious matchmaking and fair play to Josh Taylor's team for being able to bring in a name like Victor Postol to fight him. You know, that is a, a huge scalp for his resume. And, uh, you know, frankly, if he's able to uh, go and get the nod against Victor Postol, you're going to have to be considering Josh Taylor already in the 13th fight of his career um, to really be in the elite at uh, 140. And... Um, you know, it's, it's it really is ambitious. It's not very often you see this kind of matchmaking with a young prospect. Um, the fight is operating as a final eliminator for the WBC super lightweight title, be held at the SSE in Hydro, and it will be live and exclusive on Channel 5 on June the 23rd. Now, I believe that's the same night as the rescheduled Billy Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray. Again, it's a shame to see these two fights clashing because, um, you know, they're both good fights. Um, but, it, you know, it's the same that they're on the same night. Look, at this point, we're some way off. If, if at this point the two fights were on at exactly the same time, I personally would want to watch Josh Taylor versus Postol. Billy Joe Saunders is probably my favourite active fighter in boxing. But frankly, it's very, very, very hard to make a case for Martin Murray to beat him. You know, Josh Taylor... Uh, versus Victor Postol, we're either going to see um, a very competitive matchup, or, in my opinion, we're going to see um, Josh Taylor announce himself as one of the very top fighters in world boxing, let alone, uh, you know, in British boxing. Very, very good fight. Really looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this too early for Josh Taylor? Is Postol too big a step up? Could he have had more learning fights? My take for what it's worth um, is that uh, you know, Josh Taylor has been bought on very ambitiously. Um, he's already got very, very good experience for a guy who's 12-0. and 0. That Miguel Vasquez, for me, that was a world world championship level fighter. Uh, and he handled him with ease. You know, Hara Davis. Hara Davis, I know he's written off, but Hara Davis, for me, is an upper European, lower world level fighter. And, uh, you know, again, um, Josh Taylor handled him really with consummate ease and professionalism. Um, Postol, he's dangerous, he's got the skills, he's got the experience, he's probably a bit ABC, he probably is someone who sticks to the fundamentals, he's probably slightly more predictable and slightly less versatile than Josh Taylor, uh, but it'll be an interesting fight to see if Postol can cause Taylor problems, if Taylor handles him with the same ease he handled David, uh, Ahura Davis and Miguel Vasquez, you really, we're going to have to start talking about this guy potentially being in the top three pound for pound in Great Britain. I know it's early at 12-0, 13-0 to anoint him to that sort of level, but I believe 
this is that level of fight. You know, I'm very, very impressed and I'm very excited for it. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave your comments in the section below. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in.